You know, there have been times when I've been treated wrongly, and I responded by going around looking to vindicate myself, maybe even try to hurt my enemy's reputation in the process. And that's not the way of the Lord Jesus. So how should you, as a follower of Christ, respond when you have enemies that seek your ruin or even your very life? Well, Psalm 35 has the answer. This is a psalm of David. We don't know when in his life he wrote it, but we know it was during a time whenever he was being treated horribly by enemies, which happened a lot in David's life. But how does David respond to being pursued and maligned by his enemies? Well, first we see at the very beginning of this psalm that he responds by pouring out his soul to the Lord. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and rise for my help. Draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. What sorts of things are David's enemies up to in this psalm? Well, skip down with me, beginning at verse 15. But at my stumbling, they rejoiced and gathered. They gathered together against me. Wretches whom I did not know tore at me without ceasing. Like profane mockers at a feast, they gnash at me with their teeth. And note that amid the very valid reasons for lamenting, as we see David doing here, his ultimate response is one of hope in the Lord. Listen to the end of the psalm. Let those who delight in my righteousness shout for joy and be glad and say evermore, Great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of his servant. Then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. These are the words of David, yes, but these are ultimately the words of the Son of David, Jesus Christ. In fact, Jesus quotes this psalm in John 15, 25, where he says, They hated me without a cause. That's from verse 19 of this psalm. Psalm 35 is a blow-by-blow -blow account of Jesus' life. His enemies slandered him. They even conspired to have him murdered by Roman crucifixion. But Jesus didn't respond to them in kind. Instead, as we see in this psalm, Jesus trusted that the Lord would rescue him and vindicate him, which God did by raising him from the dead and exalting Jesus to his right hand. So how about you, my brother or sister in Christ? When you're the subject of false slander, when you come to learn that you've been lied about and your reputation has been wrongly sullied, when you know that someone actively seeks your harm or ruin, how will you respond? Will you become bitter and angry and defensive? Or instead, like our Savior, will you pour out your hurts to the Lord with confidence that he will save you, vindicate you, and cause your tongue to tell of his righteousness and his praise all the eternal day 